Hi and welcome. In this video I'm going to be doing a little bit of an experiment. Now having transferred to digital a few years ago I've suddenly got an urge to start shooting a bit of film again. I started digging through my stock of old film which has been refrigerated and it's been sitting there for years. There's a lot of out of date stuff but when you home develop that's not such a problem because you're not so worried about the cost of developing and potential waste. And digging through my old film stock uh, primarily black and white stuff. I, I actually found a couple of very interesting uh, boxes. I've recently uh, been looking around online and looking at things like Rodinal which has a very very long shelf life because I'm thinking now along the lines of I want something ideally that I can mix up and use when I want it or something that's got a long shelf life. Now most developers actually have a very short shelf life. We're talking a month or two max. So Rodinal seemed an ideal choice and then something caught my eye, something that I've not looked at for years. In fact I've used this particular developer once years ago and it was well before 2000 and this developer is called Caffinal. This is a home brewed developer using four simple ingredients. Those ingredients are instant coffee powder, uh, the cheaper the better and frankly as a coffee connoisseur um, instant coffee powder this is about the best thing that you can use it for and it then uses soda crystals like you would use for washing clothes or you know you can use them for unblocking things all kind of things very useful very cheap and freely available at your supermarket vitamin c powder uh, freely available at health stores, Holland and Barrett, that kind of thing in the UK. I don't know what you, what you guys uh, stateside have, but any health store should stock vitamin C powder. If not, you'd be able to get that online, Amazon and the like. And water, which of course is freely available from your tap. This is ideal because I've always got instant coffee powder for emergencies. Um, dread the thought in case I ever run out of proper decent coffee beans. Um, soda crystals are something that I, I typically have under the sink anyway for various sorts of duties. Vitamin C powder is easy to get hold of and water of course I've always got so I can mix it up as and when I need it and develop a roll or two of film. So great, so caffeinol. I started reading a little bit more about it and while it's great as a black and white film developer it also seems to have quite magical properties, generally speaking. Uh, in as much as I've read reports of people who've processed uh, E6 reversal film, C41 film, and even um, Super 8 and 16mm cine film, which is quite interesting as well. And apparently it will develop these films also, uh, albeit in black and white of course. Because With it having these magical properties, it got me to thinking. As I said, I was digging through my stash of, uh, of refrigerated film stock and in among it I found some of this. Now, the older ones among you will uh, recognise this, this bright red and yellow box and this is Kodachrome, Kodak Reversal Film. Very famous, very well known. Instructions in the box, little envelope to send it back to Kodak for processing. Process paid. You basically, you bought the whole thing, you shot the roll of film, you popped it back in this little envelope here and, uh, and you filled in your address details and off you sent it. And then you got your, your slides back. It's fabulous. Um, great little service. And this is something that I shot from time to time. And that I like to use for the occasional sort of portrait work and, uh, and the occasional bit of landscape work and what have you. Now, the thing about this, for those of you who don't know, Kodachrome is no longer available and hasn't been since 2010. Kodachrome processing is no longer available and hasn't been since 2010. The last place that processed a roll of Kodachrome was Duane's in the USA um, and they were the ones to process the last roll of Kodachrome. Now the reason for this is this is not C41, this is not E6. This is its own process which is called K14 and the chemistry to process these films was available only from Kodak themselves. Nobody else manufactured these chemicals and what happened with this, the, the chemistry contained all the dyes and what have you to give you those beautiful vivid colours when the slides were processed and this is a film that's been around for years and years and years and was hugely popular in its day and especially being a process paid film as well uh, it was popular with a lot of photographers because they just got the film stuck it in the camera did the thing 
threw, threw it in an envelope and sent it away. It was easy to use, it was great. So what I thought was, will Caffinol process Kodachrome? So I thought, why not give it a try? So that's what this video is about. That's what we're going to do. So this particular roll here, we're going to pop into my old Canon. So I'm going to just fit this. close there and then there we go now we're ready to shoot a um, couple of film frames advanced and, uh, and and we're ready to go so I'm gonna go off and find some interesting subjects to photograph and um, I will be back in the next portion of the video we'll be winding the film back in, unloading it, loading it into the bulk uh, processing reel and then we'll start looking at uh, processing it and see what happens. So we're back with the exposed roll and uh, pop that down to one side and we're ready to load this up. We've got the developing drum here and we've got the chemicals here uh, with the caffeinol um, which obviously due to the coffee has a very distinctive colour. Then we've got some homemade stock bath using citric acid, five milligrams per one litre. And then we've got some fixer. Um, the good thing about this little drum is it only takes 250 mil. So um, it's very economical for hand processing. Whoop, excuse me that. Uh, even less for rotation processing if you, uh, if you use one of the rotation developers. Uh, this is the drum that we're going to load the film onto. And without sort of going into too much detail and obviously pulling too much film out in the light, essentially what you do is uh, you can clip the leader off. It's not strictly necessary. I've, um, I've, I've done it both ways with and without. But essentially what you do is you feed your film into here like so, pull it through the first little bit and then you rotate it and wind the film on. Uh, essentially you do this in the dark naturally. So it's all light tight, in a light tight bag or in a light tight room. You wind the film onto the drum, snip the film off the end, and then that film gets loaded onto this little spindle, into the tank. This lid sits on the top, snaps in place, and that makes it completely light tight, and then you can pour your chemistry in here to develop. So I'm just gonna go and load this, and I'm just gonna go and load this, and uh, we'll be back in just a moment. One now empty film cartridge and uh, one loaded drum which is now clipped, sealed and light tight and can pour the chemicals in here. So we're going to go ahead, uh, on these are around about 20 degrees, uh, freshly made, you need to mix this and use this while it's fresh, the caffeinol. So what we need to do is we start off with the caffeinol, just make sure that's well and truly mixed up and we just pour it straight into the drum like so. And that fills it up nicely to the top, lid on, nice and tight, this will, this will seal it. And then we start with 30 seconds of gentle inversion. Now, when you're doing inversions, I've seen some people get really, really kind of aggressive. Um, it's, it's not necessary, literally. What you're doing with the inversions is making sure that your film is coated evenly with fresh chemicals and what you're doing when you do inversions every say 30 seconds every minute or however long whatever process you're using uh, this is essentially what you're doing so nice and gentle you don't need to swish it around like a cocktail okay that's 30 seconds there couple of taps just to dislodge any air bubbles that might have settled on the film this will rise to the top and then we leave it there and what I then do is, uh, is two inversions every minute for the entirety of the process. So rather than uh, stand here through that, 
I'll cut back to, um, to the next step in just a moment when we use the stop bath and the fixer. Right, so that's the last one finished off. Um, and what we do is, you can just pour this straight down the sink, it's essentially a one shot solution. So you can just dump this straight down the sink if you wish. Um, so as not to waste too much time, let's stop bath straight into here. And then I'm just going to rotate and turn and agitate this for um, 30 seconds. which is a recommended for this home brewed uh, stop bath apparently. So that's what we're going to go with. I'm just going to dump that straight into there and then straight in with the fixer. So exact same process, we're going to give this a few inversions. The stop bath um, essentially arrests the development uh, that the chosen developer in this plate, in this uh, case, Cathanol, uh, arrests immediately arrests the development, so it doesn't develop further. You can use water, but the development can continue, albeit more slowly. And a lot of people swear by water. Personally, I like to use a stop bath. I mean, it's I just see that it's there for a reason. So same thing with the fixer. A good few inversions and then uh, I'm just going to leave that for a few seconds and then keep doing that and we're going to do this for a few minutes so we'll be back in a moment. Here we are it's been sat in the fixer there for a little while. Um, I'm not going to go into the specifics of the recipe I mean you can uh, have a look online at your recipes and your timings and such. Um, next process is to give this a wash so it's just going to be put under the tap and rinse through for a good sort of six or seven minutes or so and then uh, a quick wash with some wetting agent and, uh, and we can go on to the opening the drum and see what's happened the final step um some wetting agent strictly speaking this is actually uh sticking with a home brew uh, this is actually washing up uh, just a, a splash of washing up liquid dish soap uh, if you're one of our American viewers and uh, what this is to do is to help the film dry without water spots so just going to give that a wash uh, for a minute or so in this and then we're going to dump this out and then we can have a look inside the drum and see what's occurring in there. There is one crucially important thing that I did neglect to mention. When you're developing with caffeinol, it's very, very important that you make sure that your drink is a glass of wine, just in case you get confused and try to drink the developer instead. Cheers. Okay, so uh, here we go. Um, let's give that a little bit of a the outsides of that a little bit of a wipe down and um, okay well I can certainly see something in there so this is uh, the interesting bit so uh, I'm going to move the camera around bring it over here and we're going to tip this out and take a look and, and see what we've got so this is the big reveal, as they say, we're going to tip out the film and, uh, and take a look and, and see if the caffeinol has worked its magic and see what we've got. So, wow, oh my word, wow, look at that. Look at that, all, all pre-packaged and, and in slides as well. Well, I've got to say, I'm absolutely gobsmacked. I had my doubts, but it does in fact seem that, uh, that caffeinol is um, sort of, Wonder developer who who would have thought that's that's absolutely incredible and um, beautiful colors as well That's amazing. Well, there you go um, For for any of you guys who've got your old expired rolls of uh, Kodachrome out there and are looking for a viable alternative to get them developed as there's no there's no uh, actual Lab that does them anymore. There you go. Uh, Caffanol truly is a magical developer So there you have it. 
difficult to see on there but we've got lovely vivid colours and everything it's just just remarkable absolutely remarkable and all neatly packaged what more could you want uh, thank you for watching guys I hope you found this useful and uh, if you if you enjoyed this video uh, please feel free to comment and share and give us a thumbs up and, uh, and a like don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next video one final note on this video, a little disclaimer if you will. Clearly this wasn't entirely serious and, uh, and obviously this is not how caffeinol works. Now, for those who are just getting interested in looking around at caffeinol, who don't really know much about it at the moment, if you come across this video, uh, don't let this, this silliness put you off. Caffeinol is a genuine developer and it produces some fantastic images. Uh, seemingly C41 colour film as well as black and white. I have used it myself in the past and it does produce some fabulous images and I will be using it some more now that I'm starting to, um, to sort of get an urge to shoot some more film again. Um, so yes, this is a real developing tank. The process that you saw essentially was, was the real process. That's how you would use the developer, the stop bath, the fixer. The stop bath is a real thing. You can make your own stop bath with citric acid and water. Um, so essentially the only proprietary chemical that you really need to buy is fixer, which is quite cheap anyway. And uh, you could probably find a recipe to make your own fixer as well if you, uh, if you have a look online. But for those interested in caffeinol, have a look. Google the caffeinol cookbook. Have a look at the caffeinol group on Facebook. Some great, great images for inspiration there. And some great ideas on recipes and developing and so on and so forth. So um, I hope you enjoyed this little, this little bit of silliness. And um, get out there and shoot some film and enjoy. Cheers. We'll see you in the next video.